Hi, my name's Peter Mann. I founded Aransi in 2009. I've been in the air purifying industry for 20 years, and I'm also the chair of the AHAM Air Cleaning Council, which is a group that oversees the air purifier industry standards in the U.S. And so things like the CADR, the clean air delivery rate, uh, we're the group that oversees you know, how the test is done and ensuring it's done in a consistent, repeatable way. And today I wanted to talk about odor and VOC removal. We have a new industry standard for measuring the effectiveness of an air purifier to remove you know, gases, odors, and VOCs. And I wanted to share our test results, show you how to read the reports, and then tell you what to look for in an air purifier to ensure that it's going to be effective for gas, odor, and VOC removal. And so to start, um, I'm just going to jump right into the test results. In this chart, you can see um, on the y-axis, it shows the concentration of a gas. And in the x-axis is time. And so in this first chart, we're showing ammonia. Um, and you can see um, the, you know the levels go up. And then when it hits zero on the x-axis is when the air purifier is turned on. And you can see the reduction um, in the ammonia levels. And there's a separate chart that we can see, um, you know, over time without the air purifier running, those levels stay very high. So it's really the air purifier that, that drives the reduction. And when we look at ammonia, that's things like cleaning products, smoke, and building materials. For the next chart, we're going to look at formaldehyde. Formaldehyde are things like um, off-gassing from wood floors, new furniture, building materials, smoking, um, and it's also um, gas burning, like if you, in your gas stove, if you're, um, you know, burning propane or natural gas, it can, can emit some levels of formaldehyde as well as nitrogen dioxide. And similar to the ammonia chart, you can see a similar type of reduction. What's interesting is activated carbon is not very good at removing formaldehyde um, and so we've treated our carbon to make it quite effective for formaldehyde. The next one is toluene and this is found in paints, paint thinners, adhesive, synthetic fragrances, nail polish, and smoke. We've had a lot of folks that uh, work in nail salons that have reached out to us that are using our products you know essentially because they're concerned about their health um, We've also worked with a number of art studios, um, you know, who are, you know, artists and creators who are painting, who are concerned about, you know, the fumes. Um, and so you can see in this chart, um, similar types of reduction. Um, also in this chart, there's two other um, substances. One is limonene, which is, you find that in cosmetics and perfumes, and then heptane which is um, in glue, ink, and cleaners. And so this is a pretty wide spectrum of things that you would find in a house that, you know, emit odors, fumes, and gases, many of which are harmful to breathe in. So obviously you want to see a reduction. And, and really that's what we're, we're showing here. And the reason we're able to achieve these results is because of a solid HEPA filter. This thing is densely packed. I've been in this industry for 20 years. I've not seen a filter that's packed so dense with this amount of carbon. And that's a real key to the um, gas odor VOC removal is just you know having so much carbon to pass through with each air pass. We have a filter with 14 pounds of carbon and this with a little over three pounds does just as well because it's, this, is so, <laughs> this is so dense. Um, and the challenge with a dense filter like this is it adds so much airflow resistance. And so to overcome that, you need a motor that can pull the air through this type of filter because this is not a typical filter that it's, you know, it's almost impossible to pull the air through. And so that's what we've, we've done this year is we've invented a new motor technology, which is more in the class of an electric vehicle. So we can run it at higher speeds with higher torque, higher power density without um, additional power or noise. And that, that really separates um, this filter from the others. Typically what you'll see is a foam sheet like this that, <laughs> that you can see through that doesn't do anything. Or a thin filter that's um, similarly you can, you can see right through it. So this isn't going to capture much of anything. 
Um, and there's some other air purifiers on the market with you know more pounds of carbon, but really it's not so much the weight of the carbon, it's how much carbon it's passing through with each air pass. And ours is over two inches deep, and you know that that drives the results, which is which is not typical, but we're very proud of it. Um, we know for smokers, this product is hugely popular. We <laughs> we've had folks you know give us tips on how they've used it to. Uh, remove smoke odors so they don't offend other people or you know we have a lot of folks in apartments that buy uh, our carbon units specifically to remove smoke from one of their neighbors who's smoking so it you know kind of we we talk to <laughs> talk to both sides and um, you know we've we've got you know fantastic results and so what this standard represents is a measurable repeatable way of uh, of knowing how effective um, your air purifier is at removing each of these substances. And each of these substances represent the spectrum of what you're going to find in a home. And so this, you know, by looking at each of these charts will give you confidence that this is going to be effective. Um, this is the state-of-the-art test lab with the most expensive VOC equipment. Um, we've got some folks with some low-cost VOC meters, um, and it's it's not the same as as what's done in the lab. So these are the you know official results, and we're very proud to share that.